Hey, good Saturday morning, everybody. It is really great to be with you. It is a glorious, beautiful morning here in Southern California, and we've got so much to cover with you on the morning briefing right here on the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel. Good morning, everybody. Grab that cup of coffee, that cup of tea, that glass of milk, whatever it is, and spend a little time with us here this morning as we'll get you caught up on what's going on down in northern Baja and throughout Southern California. And of course, there are lots of interesting things going on, including some really great albacore fishing going on up to the north up there near the California-Oregon border. There's great albi fishing going on. Jason Allen, who's a great guy up there in Alaska, and he's been a long time member of the Freedman Adventures family, sent some photos down as did Jamie Argent, whose uncle is up there fishing right now. It is really good albacore fishing for many, many people. And a reminder of how I've blown another albacore prediction this year for Southern California. Hang on, it ain't over till it's over. So maybe we'll get some late season albi in here. Looking dubious at this point in time, but we'll see how it goes. All right, a uh, reminder for all of you who are into the whole Grunion thing, two more nights to go tonight and tomorrow night, Saturday night, take the kids down, show them what a Grunion run is truly like. It's a spectacle of nature. And if they do show up, you're going to really enjoy yourselves. And it's not only observation. Now, you can take 30 Grunion per person. You got to have a fishing license. Don't forget that. You can't use any nat nets or bulldozers or tractors or anything else. You just have to use your hands to catch those little devils. All right. Part of the beauty of doing this again when I came back from China and started doing this YouTube channel is the Friedman Adventures family. And that encompasses all the people who make us so great. That means you. And I had a chance to meet several of those people the other night at 22nd Street Landing. I'll talk about that in a moment. But I want to first of all start out with Alan Rushing, who sent us those photos of that boat adrift in the harbor, in San Diego Harbor, and the legend stopping to see what was up. Steve Taft, the captain, doing the right thing, stopping, calling the Coast Guard. It put them a little bit behind, and they were thinking to themselves, man, are we going to end up not doing that well? Well, good things and good karma beset the legend, and Alan Rushing was on board with his kids, Lance and Aaron. Good morning, Lance. Good morning, Aaron. And they put the wood to the yellowtail. Excellent yellowtail fishing with limits of yellowtail. They also had some Dorado, and of course, Lance and Aaron Grace our cover today. We thank them very much for the great photos and so happy they had some great fishing in what was not the best of conditions. It was what was described by Alan as a washing machine, sometimes also referred to as jackass weather, where it's kind of coming from all directions. It's windy, it's kind of miserable, it's hard to find kelps, but as always, the legend and Steve Taft put in all the work, had a great trip, and Alan was so stoked for his kids, for himself, and talking about what a great crew the legend put out there. All right, another guy, early Mo Ernie Montano, on board the Amigo at a 22nd Street landing in beautiful San Pedro, California. Ernie was out here on a 2.5 day trip, got to meet him in the studio. What a great guy, got to meet his son. Really wonderful people, lovely, lovely human beings. And they got out there and had some Pretty darn good fishing, trying conditions also on board the Amigo, but Ernie Jr. had a nice big bluefin tuna. We even have some video for you that we're rolling, and uh, it was great. Nighttime fishing, seeing that big fish for Ernie Jr., that was great. And also Ernie's nephew had a 115 pound bluefin tuna. He hadn't fished for 25 years and then comes out and catches this magnificent fish. It was a great family reunion for Ernie on board the Amigo, and so nice. I hope he doesn't mind me making him part of the Friedman Adventures family also. Really, really good stuff. And finally, the family that flew in from Montana. Remember? The father, the son, the daughter, really lovely people. So nice to have met them also. They brought a giant bag of clothing for our efforts in Mexico. We'll be taking that down this winter to Mexico and distributing it in some really poor communities. I can't thank them enough. And good things do happen to good people. They came from Montana, jumped on the Pride, and check out 
what happened to them with this beautiful bluefin tuna. That photo provided by Sean Roberts, the captain of the pride. That is really outstanding. All right, let me take you now south of the border down to Ensenada where the Pongaros down there continue to make good catches on the kelps. It's a little bit more difficult right now. I don't know what is up, whether we're just in a little bit of a lull, whether it's the full moon, whether it has been this windy weather, but it's been a little bit more difficult. There are still some kelps holding copious amounts of fish. I, I guess I should say most of the kelps are holding, but many of them have been raked over the coals. Many boats have hit them, and also some of the fish remain finicky. But in the m most cases, you're able to catch some Dorado, some Yellowtail. There's some striped Marlin running around right now. There's good variety and still trolling the Mad Mac lures down there south of the border provides us with occasional good big blue fan tuna. And there's nothing wrong with that kind of fishing. Now moving up to the San Diego fleet, some boats are having absolutely wide open fishing, tremendous fishing, while other guys are having mediocre kind of fishing. So it has changed in that respect. It, before it was pretty much a slam dunk for everybody. It has backed off quite a bit right now. Some boats really slamming them, some boats not slamming them. So again, it's finding kelps, it's working hard, it's looking you know, in every direction. When you're a passenger on the boat, don't just sit there and play poker in the galley. Get out and become part of the whole drama. Find a kelp for the guy upstairs most of the time they're gonna find them before you, but every once in a while, you can spy up a kelp and say, hey, is that a kelp over there? And they drive over and it's wide open and you're a hero for the rest of the trip. The yellows on the kelps remain beautiful grade fish. A lot of eight to 20 pound fish, not all that many five pounders. There's a few of those in there, but it's been good grade. Dorado five to 10 to 20 pounds. Most of it, I wanna say is in that Oh, 8 to 12 pound class, a lot of Dorado around, and they are biting on the 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon. Now that things are a little bit tougher, that's when you're going to want to have Opsin fluorocarbon, www.opsinusa.com. Make sure you put in FA at checkout to get a free gift and a handwritten note from Greg Brown. So you want to definitely do that 1-0, 2-0 size hooks, for the most part good, and choosing a good hot bait can make all the difference in the world to your success. Throwing surface iron on the kelps is also a very good way to make things happen. So we're watching that situation very, very closely. We're going to be blessed with some absolutely gorgeous weather here in the week to come. There's going to be a few blow ups here and there, but not much at all. And especially down in northern Baja and in the U.S. side of things, I think we're going to see some very, very good weather. So we'll keep our eyes on it and hopefully it's going to click back into that wide open fishing. Don't forget, a week, well, no, hey, it's less than a week. Friday, we're going to be on board the Malahini with my good friend Bill Wilkerson and so many great members of the Freedman Adventures family on board that one. That's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to get down there, spend a day on the water. I'm going to try to find a kelp. This time, I'll actually have sleep. The last time, I was operating on two hours of sleep in 48 hours. I actually was outside the wheelhouse of the Malahini. I was dead tired and I looked at a buoy that was deflated on the deck and looked at one of the crew members and said, is it all right if I sleep right there? And he said, yeah, go for it, man. And the next thing I knew, I was zing off for an hour and a half or so. This time I'm gonna be ready to rock and roll and I can't wait to get down and see all of you on board that one. Malahini, don't forget if you wanna sign up for that or any of our remaining charters, just go in the show description of today's show and there's all kinds of information and links you can text me if you want to join us should be a lot of fun some great trips coming up and let me just throw in september the 10th we'll be at bass pro shops in rancho cucamonga with a podcast at one o'clock in the afternoon with audience participation you can participate ask questions it's at one i'll be there about 11 we can chat before and after the podcast. Really looking forward to that. I love Bob Miner, the general manager out there, and everybody else involved at Bass Pro Shops. That is going to be a lot of fun. All right, so a little bit more iffy. Still some great fishing going on for the most part on the kelps. The islands 
Todos Santos Islands, we continue to see some really good fishing on yellowtail now. That's improved a lot. Also, some good barracuda and bass fishing, calico bass, hard baits work really well down there, like Lucky Craft Lures. Coronado Islands, you know, the San Diego yesterday had a group that had all their passports, so they went to the islands, had very good yellowtail fishing. They also had some barracuda and bass, and they caught a Dorado in 66 feet of water. Perhaps a sign that those things are everywhere this year. And there is a lot of Dorado continuing to move up the coast. So I think we're just having a little lull right now. I think you're going to see some really crazy, outstanding fishing here very, very soon. San Clemente Island, uh, still decent yellowtail action, 15 to 30 yellows. If you put in a day's work there, still dealing with those crazy sea lions. Good calico bass fishing at SCI right now. Catalina Island remains picky for the most part. You got a tank of chovies. You can come up with some good bonita fishing. Okay, calico bass fishing. And there's still some yellow zooming around there. Also, uh, boats that are going to and fro Catalina Island continue to have a shot at kelp patty fish. And also, bluefin tuna. The pursuit got involved in a four hour drift. They hung something like 12 or 15 bluefin tuna. Yesterday, they got two on board. It's pretty tough fishing, but man, the opportunity to partake in something like that on a local trip still is outstanding. And the kelps right offshore here are holding a lot of Dorado. That light switch has yet to go on, but every once in a while we'll scratch out a good hit. And in the recent past, remember the Freelance had 83 Dorado on a day where it really turned on. You thought maybe that was going to be it and it was going to bite, but it's been that kind of a year up and down kind of fishing no question about that channel islands finally some decent weather it's going to blow up a little bit here and there but it seems to be calming down there's still some white sea bass up there not as much not as prevalent and for the most part they've come down to earth a little bit in the channel islands after a spectacular season a few white sea bass up there at the islands and also uh, some barracuda some bass a few halibut but a little bit slower and of course always have the rockfish to fill you up along the coast it's been a weird year on the coast because you know we just we've had some spurts of barracuda and bass and that kind of a thing but it just never really got going so we've got all this tropical warm water stuff moving up and then along the beach we're catching rockfish in august in many of the areas so it's a weird year same thing down there in ensenada good bass fishing along the coast some barracuda san diego a few bass and barracuda and then as we move you up, same thing, but a lot of guys falling back on sculpin and rockfish up there in the Santa Monica Bay, bass with a little bit of rockfish, I mean, a little bit of bass and good rock fishing up there. And then the island spirit yesterday out of Ventura sport fishing, kind of a scratchy, tough day, conditions were off. Cody Rogers was telling me that they worked hard and had a fun time. And I get that because I've been on the island spirit out of Ventura. And it is fun. Great crew, great captain, lots of fun, but scratch your local fishing yesterday. Hopefully that's going to kick itself in the butt and get turned around. Incidentally, Ventura Sport Fishing, 805-676-3474 if you would like to join them on a trip. So we are watching so much for you. So many great stories from the Friedman Adventure family this week, and I love that very, very much. I'll be at the Orange County Fair for two more nights and then back to work 24 hours a day on the Friedman Adventures podcast. It really is beautiful this morning. Man, that sun feels so good. That vitamin D, I'm soaking it up. I hate to go back in, but I got to edit this up and get it on the air for you. It's a gorgeous day, and there's a lot of surf fishermen out here. I know there's been good corvina fishing right here down on Sunset Beach in Bolsa Chica. There's been a few halibut grunion run continuing here this evening and tomorrow, so you can check that out. And there's been some good yellowfin croaker up in the Santa Monica Bay and corvina around the Topaz Rock Jetty. As always, it's a pleasure to be with you, my friends. Thank you so much for spending some time with us on this lovely Saturday morning. Wishing you a great weekend, and I'll see you September 10th at Bass Pro Shops in Rancho Cucamonga. That's going to be a really fun day. Take care. Have a great weekend. 
I hope to see you really, really soon.